you don't even see that on many high-end yes. mm -hmm. diesel motors. There's a few. You have to go really high-end. This is built on our toy hauler frame, so this gives it really nice wide open space. Everything that we do is going to be double welded, aluminum framed, and three inches thick. It is something that we've not ventured into yet, but you guys have requested it. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RVing. We're out here with Brienne, is that Brienne? correct? Yes. From Lux RV, they are a luxury fifth wheel manufacturer. Factory ordered. That's correct, factory direct. Factory direct. So this is the first time we're doing one of these Lux units. We're gonna review it for you guys. Well, actually, Brienne's gonna do all the work because she knows about this. Stick around, this is something we've never done before. We think you're gonna enjoy it. Hello, my name is Brian, and I'm going to show you through our brand new 46 RKB. That is our rear kitchen with a basement. It's a really exciting product for us. It is something that we've not ventured into yet, but you guys have requested it, so we do appreciate all of your feedback. All of our units are going to be full body paint. No decals whatsoever on this rig. Your multiple coats of automotive paint, double cleared and wet sand and buff. We're going to have a one piece seamless fiberglass cap on the front that wraps around this particular unit is optioned with the Gen Y hitch. Actually, to be standard on this model, and that's that torsion flex hitch with the torsion bars um, for your hitch. Up front on our Gen Bay, inside is where the generators house your pump for your hydraulic leveling systems. We're going to use equalizer leveling systems. It's going to have six points of leveling. They all have home run to the actual hydraulic pump from the jack, all color coded at the jack point and the actual hydraulic pump. So that makes it a little easier to troubleshoot. They also have a little more substantial arms and legs on that unit. You mentioned the generator. Is that a standard or an option? So it is an option for okay. you to do the generator. A lot of our clients are full-time RVers. Some of them will want generator or gen prep, mm -hmm. but they don't necessarily need the generator because they are staying stationary in a park. So it's not necessarily an expense that they want to have, but we do have on our toy haulers, it has a gas generator. Okay. And then our traditional fifth wheels, we have LP generators. You answered my second question. Okay. Just because it's gas on the toy hauler doesn't mean it has to be. I can always make that an LP gen set if you would like. Okay, and have you had anybody that's just like, we don't want the generator, we just want to load that up with lithium. Has that been a request? Absolutely. So this one actually has a full solar package on it. Okay. So it's our solar B package, and I can show you that here in a little bit. It's got a full bank of lithium batteries, dual inverters, tons of solar panels up on the roof. So this one's not plugged in at all. We have two 40 pound LP tanks on board. You've got one on either side with an auto regulator switch over. On your pass through storage, we've got a very thick compartment door, heavy struts. This is going to keep it nice and secure. It's up, you guys see that nice large pass through. We could put a slide out tray here if you would like. Another thing that we like to do is make sure that you have access to everything. Again, a lot of our clients are full time, so we wanna make sure that they are as serviceable as we possibly can get them. So if you can peek back here, you can see the nice and tidy wiring access oh, that looks beautiful. to you got the additional battery bank back here mm -hmm. so in addition to the ones up front you have the additional batteries underneath here again all our wiring is color coded it's all loomed it's labeled we just again want to make sure that you can get this serviceable on the road all of our units are going to come again with the full body paint you can do the slide room paint should you want that will continue that design on the end walls all of our doors are going to be a frictionless hinge door so it's going to actually go and stay put where you put it nice heavy duty door for you with the attachable screen we are also debuting the handrail that Morai just released have you guys seen this thing no. Yet? Okay. It's pretty cool. It um, actually just folds flat. Oh, nice. And it's a magnet, but it's a very sturdy handrail. A lot of people, especially if they're in and out all the time, they like that extra stability. I like that. Yeah. So I will put it away because one thing I do want to show you is our slide rooms. All of our walls are three inches thick, and I'll show you the interior layers of that once we head inside because I've got a wall cut out. Our end walls are going to be two inches thick. Everything has a graphite infused closed cell foam insulation in them, and I'll tell you some of the attributes in it a little bit. But the slide rooms themselves are also dual seal sweep. So you've got a bulb seal here with the seal sweep. On the interior, you've got a bulb seal with a seal sweep. We wrap all of our fascia with that TPL membrane of your roof, so you have no exposed wood along the side here. And when the rooms come in, they're actually a flush mount. 
gifts. So when the room come in, they sit inside this pan. So it's completely nice aesthetic. I can close some of the rooms for you so you can see how clean that looks. They look really sexy going down the road. <laughs> yeah, that's something you, you don't even see that on many high-end yes. mm -hmm. diesel mode. There's a few, you have to go really high-end. Most mm -hmm. of them you see that, that big molding and, and they you kind of stick out and they look crappy going down the road. And also, I mean, if you keep it in storage and it's mm -hmm. not inside, none of your bulb seals are exposed to the right. UV rays, right. which is that's a great correct. benefit of that too. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, they're gonna degrade over time. It doesn't matter, you know, who you are. It's another benefit of full body paint. Yes. So there is something I noticed here I've never seen before on another slide. There, there are some like plastic pieces here. I don't know what it is. What, what is that? So these are actually seal sweeps. So they're placed here so that your room when it travels out actually flips the seal completely out. So you don't have it half in and half out. And same principle once it goes in, it's flipping it back in. So you're not having gaps for bugs and weather and things like that. Um, this particular model's option with an outdoor entertainment center. You can do that. That's usually going to have a buffet or an eat at bar or something to house that on the interior. We're pretty flexible, being that we are an RV manufacturer that builds these for you. Within the shell of what we build, I can modify some of those spaces for you, which is one of the great things. Another thing I want to mention while we're here at the unit, you have a belt rail transition between the sidewall and the fender skirting that's completely covered. You don't have any exposed screws along the side here. All of our fender skirt is metal, a thick gauge aluminum. It all has supports along the back side of it as well um, to help protect. Should you ever have a tire blowout, all of our floors actually have aluminum flashing along the bottom of it so that should some de road debris or anything kick up, it's not affecting your floor. All of our Elite Series is gonna come standard with the Moride Independent Suspension, 17 and a half inch H-rated tires, all nitro filled with a TPMS monitoring on them. We also have Air Ride available um, and on our Gold Toy Hauler Series, we use the Dexter Torflex Independent Suspension. That is independent suspension standard across the board, no uh, shackle bolts and leaf spring. I also see that you have, it's all disc brakes. We do have no, Kodiak that, automotive disc brakes. Is that an option or is no, that standard? No, that's standard on all models. Oh, that's it doesn't huge. matter. Another beautiful thing about every model, every piece of construction that I'm talking about, it's identical. So the way we construct the walls, the frames, the way we put all the wiring in, everything else, between the models is just kind of aesthetics and options. I also see, is that TPMS on there? Yes, it has a TPMS Is that monitor, standard also? So that would be standard on all models. So in addition to this beautiful paint job, we also do offer window silks that would actually blend that paint job into your windows. It's aesthetically beautiful, but it also does help cut down about 50% of the UV rays that come into the unit. That would be the functionality purpose of it. And once you look out, you don't see that design because there's actually little holes so you can see out of the window, but it helps with some of the privacy. And now we're the really exciting part with me uh, showing and debuting this basement. It is beautiful. It is 11 foot deep. You've got access through on three sections. We've got cargo nets here that can be unsnapped and removed should you want to slide something all the way through. Nice amount of lighting. And this is above where our rear kitchen is going to be. So we did put a more ride tray slide in this model too. You can see a nice Big kayak. Wow. You don't, if you want the full access, you don't have to do this. Just depends. Some people really like the tray slides because they want the ease. Some people don't because it takes up a little bit of the storage in the unit. So this is gonna be a fully heated basement, fully lit, you know, just put your toys in it. We also have a storage bin up above for access to outside storage. Should you decide you want trash can out here, access from the kitchen, we do have a trash can inside the kitchen, but is also a good space to do that. You could put a mini fridge in there. There's a lot of different options that you could do in this unit. This will also have a side ladder because you have that nice rear bay with access to the roof. All of our roofs are gonna be a TPO membrane. We'll also put it on the transition of that roof, aluminum flashing along the side. So if you look up onto that roof, that is all painted aluminum. So it's not painted TPO. You're not gonna have fading or cracking along that roof transition. Like they do so many small details. It's hard to cover it all in one little interview. You've got access to your other side of your basement here. You've got the furnace. You've got your rear dump valve with an additional gateway. So you've got a hundred gallons of fresh water on this. And this has a bath and a half. So you're gonna have two 40 gallon tanks and 240 black and gray. So a total of 80 of each. Again, moving forward, you've got the additional tank dump 
for the front and it has that additional gate valve on it you're not ever going to be able to just open it you have that additional safety on both of those again a standard feature we have an on-demand truma water heater at two 30,000 btu furnaces on board um, and then as far as our wet bay is concerned here's your access to everything maybe the outside shower external solar addition if you want again this is fully equipped with solar you wouldn't need that cable satellite all your fills you also have a flush kit for your black tanks and then all your pull valves. Your low point drains here, hot and cold. You also have access to the other side. So this is gonna give you access to your water filters to change those. This one comes equipped with a three cylinder clear source water filter. You'll also see uh, the Arctic package, which is indicative of the fact that all of our PEX lines are individually insulated. You mentioned uh, a little bit earlier in the video how heavy these are. They, they are, the struts are quite heavy. It takes a little bit of putting your body weight out and you hear that Thump, thump to make sure it's closed. All right, you guys want to come in? So again, to accommodate the basement storage that you saw on the outside, we do have a little bit of a raised here. This is built on our toy hauler frame. So this is our 48 foot toy hauler frame modified to accommodate this. So what it does allow for, all of our toy haulers grow as they go toward the back a little bit to gain as full access here in the rear of the kitchen. So this gives it a really nice wide open space back here. So we do have a dinette up top. You could again, turn this into a desk area and eat at bar. We have also a bar here in addition that overlooks the living room, which we'll show you. You can do a booth. You can, you can do any you do any booth, type of seating absolutely. area. Absolutely, yeah. All of our units are gonna have day night roller shades, MCD. Again, you can see how you can see out out even though those window silks are on there we did something a little bit different in that we are doing a hickory in this model so we haven't done the hickory wood with the natural stain so it's a newer interior for us but we're pretty excited we do think it is beautiful lots of character in the rear of the kitchen you have a full bar again you can modify make full pantry in any of these areas we can pull do pull out drawers wherever you'd like we have pop-up outlets in the countertops. This island here has a one piece composite sink. That looks like a, a baby bathtub. That yeah. is a nice size. <laughs> yes. This comes in like six colors. You can do it dual, you can do it single. Sinks are definitely a good option uh, that we do offer. I mean, we've got all different types of looks and styles. Right, right. We're also debuting our black hardware throughout. So you'll see hardware, black faucets, black touches uh, throughout this particular unit. Yeah, there's a lot of nice contrast between the mm -hmm. countertops, the cabinets, and then, you know, the appliance and the hardware. It's, it's one of it's the pretty. beautiful things about doing a build is you can say, you know, I really want my buffet to be beachfront white. Right. Or, you know, I really want the black countertops here, the white here mm -hmm. to give you mm -hmm. that feel, that different space contrast. It's one of the more fun parts right. of it. All right, so on the other side here, we've got a little section here for like cookie sheet pans and things like that. You've got a 24 inch Insignia range. I can do a 30 inch here, convection microwave by LG. In the kitchen, you have a real glass tile. I've got lots of different looks of that as well. Uh, to, to show a residential fridge. This one has the ice and water in the door. Again, this is an LG product. And then the eat at bar, which is going to be standard on this model. Again, that'd be a great space for a desk or something, you know, flex space for you. One other thing I did want to mention is the quality of our cabinetry. Everything we do is hardwood. It's all going to be handcrafted by the Amish. You're not going to have any vinyl wrap styles in anything that we do. All of our drawers are going to be solid hardwood all dovetailed on all four corners they're all going to be soft closed all your doors themselves are going to be soft closed with magnet enclosures and they're not just like joined at a 45 which some manufacturers have hardwood cabinetry and things like that but they don't have the joints you can see the joint it's a mortise and tenon joint so those mm -hmm. actually slide into each other it's a really strong joint and you can see the quality of the cabinetry 
in the craftsmanship of our local Amish. Okay. And in our living room, we've got a jackknife sofa, a love seat with recliners, and a hide-a-bed sofa as well. These are all locally crafted. You've got different furniture options that we can do upgraded. This particular unit has the ultra leather, which all of ours are going to. We don't use any laminated vinyl. They're all going to be ultra leather by Ultra Fabrics. I did talk to you about our side wall as well. Everything that we do is going to be double welded, aluminum framed, and three inches thick. All of our walls are gonna be vacuum bond laminated, have adhesive in between each individual layer, and then it's actually stuck into what looks like a big giant garbage bag, and that slowly sucks out all of the air in between. So all of our walls are double welded, aluminum framed, and they were wood filled if they are load bearing. Substantial amount of structure in what we build. The fiberglass is a gel coat fiberglass that we mounted on ASDO, and this is that graphite infused closed cell foam insulation I was talking about. This product is never gonna retain or wick any moisture. Again, it's closed cell, so you're not going to ever have it degrade over time. It's stays true to our value, not like a residential insulation. And then a Luon on the interior, and then the soft touch on our Elite Series, which would be that foam core and the nice clean vinyl look. So we also have a 40 inch fireplace with a real stone back, LG sound bar, LG TV. These are all gonna be 4K smart TVs throughout. And then we did try something a little bit different here, not doing full cabinetry, but do doing a feature wall in this one. We have so much storage in here. It's just nice to kind of have that little extra aesthetic touch, decorate, make yours. I can totally do full cabinetry as well, if that's what you desire. You do have a half bath here, nice, amount of storage you actually have a full cabinet there that's gonna be able to accommodate a Dyson a broom a Swiffer you want us to put pull out shelving in there adjustable shelves just kind of depends on your lifestyle and what you're taking with you you know it's just one of those again things that we're just able to do another nice feature that we'll have is solid passage mm. doors you don't have any hollow core doors in anything we do most everything that we can absolutely accommodate is going to be residential. So in closing that door, you can see how quiet it is in here, which is one of the nice features of the three inch thick walls. It's also one of the benefits of the soft touch. It's sound dampening because it has that foam core to it. So it does allow for a nice quiet, even though there's quite a bit going on outside, you cannot hear it. So all of our electronics are gonna run on in the in-command system. So you'll see small touch pads throughout that will actually do all of your lighting. Also, if you just come in or you're leaving and you just wanna shut all of the lights off, you just quickly hit interior lights. Nice. Everything's kind of touch of button. You can have an app on your phone. Again, there's some touch pads throughout, so it makes it really quite simple and easy to use. Coming into the master bedroom. Overheads up above. It also leads into your dual vanity master bath. This is a suite. We do have the additional vanity slide equipped on this model, which gives you that nice wide amount of walk space space to dress. Yeah, there is a lot of room. And yeah. that's not even, you know, a high to bed or anything. There's just oh, no. a, a ton of space. And you've got storage wherever we can possibly put storage. If you want to do a wardrobe here, you don't want a TV in your bedroom. It's just, again, one of those things that we can accomplish for you. We have three air conditioners on this model, three 15K ACs with heat pumps. All of ours are going to be residentially ducted, whisper quiet. So this is the bath that you would love to have in your RV. I'm sure of it. It's got a dual vanity, nice amount of storage. You've got your, all the storage behind the mirrors. We've got a full mirror here and then access to your walk-in closet. We got a full hanging bar across, shoe rack, dressers on either side. Yeah, that's nice and big. Washer dryer here, stackable, they're the spundy, and then a nice large residential panel shower. Love the shower head. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, and it. you've got a skylight up above, gives you a little bit of extra headroom should you need it. And again, storage wherever you can, because you can't have enough, especially Never. when you're full time. <laughs> right, right. Another thing I wanted to make sure to mention, in addition to the walls and the insulation, we do have dual pane frameless windows on all of our models. Our coaches are gonna be extremely winter worthy. So being that the PEX lines are insulated, you've got the furnace ducted down into your basement. It's just with the thickness of the insulation, they just stay very, very comfortable all year round. Very much for taking that time, giving us 
a detailed tour. So our viewers are going to want to know a couple of things. If they're interested in more information or possibly picking up one of these units, how do they go about doing that? So on our website, which is luxfifthwheel.com, fifth is spelled out, F-I-F-T-H. You can always contact us via a form there, or you can always give us a call on our 1-800 number, and I'll make sure Aaron provides that for you. And then the most important thing, if you stay to the end, you probably stayed because you want to know this. Somebody's interested in a unit like this, approximate budget, and how long is it gonna to take to get a unit gotcha. built on? Uh, this particular unit has a lot of features mm -hmm. on board. Uh, so it's probably gonna be one of our more expensive models. Optioned very identically to this, you're probably in that 300 to 315 range. Okay. If you want that mega solar package, which is again, salty, mm -hmm. it may add somewhere between 20 to 40, depending on what you're trying to do. And that's again, truly off grid. Okay. And now as far as a uh, bill time and warranty, that's also another mm -hmm. question people are going to have. Yeah, of course. Bill time right now, we're probably four to five months out. It okay. just kind of ebbs and flows depending on the time and the season. During the winter, we start building up a little bit more okay. lead time. As you get into the summer, it gets a little longer, but we do have stock available um, at our both of our showrooms. We have a showroom in Elkhart, Indiana. You're always welcome to come and see. We do have a remote location in Dallas, Fort Worth okay. that houses some of the products. Should you be in that area, we can always gain you access. One last question. Yeah. What is the weight of this vehicle? So this particular unit, again, it's a 48 foot. Big boy. Yes. It does have the Gen Y hitch, so it's mm -hmm. capable of quite a bit. It is rated at 25,999 pounds. Yeah, right. so, so it does keep you just under that threshold for most of the uh, states for CDL yeah. certifications. Kind of why we try and rate it that. This is definitely F450 land, but Duty. probably like heavy duty truck would maybe even be better for something like this. We do have a handful of people doing that, but one ton duallys are what majority of our clients are using. But we also have the truck up that up fit. You can check uh, yeah, out. I, 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 yeah, I yeah. see that. <laughs> as far as your warranty, you do have a one year bumper to bumper warranty. You do have individual, individual vendor items. They're going to be above and okay. beyond that. But we also do pay for a five year extended service contract. And that's through AGWS. That's a very reputable uh, company that's nationwide, Canada. Mm -hmm. And that's just something we pay for that wraps around your warranty that's gonna uh, cover you an additional four years. So I have a question. You guys are factory direct. Mm -hmm. We're full timers, we buy your unit. We are broken down in Kansas. Yes. How does that work getting that unit repaired? There's no dealerships, right? Yeah. Factory direct. We do not have a dealership model, but we do partner with a lot of service centers throughout okay. the country. We do prefer service centers when mm -hmm. available. They tend to do better work. They don't have the bias of, mm -hmm. did you buy it from me? If you have someone local that you want, to utilize, we can definitely set them up. We just want to make sure they're certified. Right. You have all of the information there directly from the manufacturer. There's no middleman. Mm -hmm. So getting information is going to be a lot quicker. Getting parts will be a lot quicker because you don't have to dealership order from the parts department. The parts department contacts right. the manufacturer and then the whole thing starts ready. over again. We usually have those types of things okay. on board. So to make it simple, person calls their certified tech or certified service center. Mm -hmm let you guys know you guys take care of it as long as yeah. warranty. and again call us if we can troubleshoot that over the phone mm -hmm. we're absolutely going to do that for you we're only bringing in somebody should it require it we want to thank you for taking the time mm -hmm. thank mj for carrying the heavy camera and we'll journey of a lifetime we'll see you guys on the road